The most that you hear about skin cancers is the most common types, which comprises about 95% of skin cancers, and that's going to be basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. And typically, those are very treatable, typically require just a, an excision by a regular dermatologist or a plastic surgeon or something along those lines. Occasionally, a squamous cell will metastasize to, to a lymph node and require removal of all the lymph nodes in, in that particular location. For a basal cell cancer to spread to lymph nodes, it's, it's very rare, and to spread to other organs, it's, it's extremely rare. The vast majority of basal cell cancers and squamous cell cancers of the skin have a very good prognosis and are cured with surgery alone. Approximately 5% of skin cancers will be melanomas. Melanoma has a much higher likelihood of spreading. Most of the time when melanoma spreads, it spreads to lymph nodes first. The location of the melanoma will dictate what lymph nodes will be at risk for the melanoma to metastasize or spread to. And those are the lymph nodes that we're going to check at surgery to find out if it's spread to that area. We operate to remove the site of the cancer, do a wide excision of the melanoma, and then check lymph nodes at the same time. 80% of the time, those will be negative. There'll be no cancer in those lymph nodes. The majority of patients with melanoma are treated by a surgical oncologist only. And there's not a need for a medical oncologist or a radiation oncologist. There are exceptions, but in general, chemotherapy is not very effective against melanoma. The agents that have come out in the past several months, as well as in the past several years, fall into a category called immunotherapy, where they are basically manipulating our own immune system to help us fight the melanoma. So as the stages get more advanced, stage three and stage four patients, then the role for the immunotherapy becomes much more prominent. Stage one and two patients is local melanoma only, and that's based on the thickness. Stage three means regardless of the thickness, it's spread to a lymph node, and then stage four, it's spread to distant organs. The prognosis for melanoma patients in general is very good because the vast majority of the patients that we see have early stage melanoma, usually stage one and stage two, and many of those are cured by surgery alone.